हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सोनी वेलकम टू माय चैनल गार्डन वुड आई पोस्ट मल्टीपल ऑफ मल्टीपल टाइम्स अ मंथ अबाउट प्लांट्स व्हिच आई एम ग्रोइंग इन अ वेरी स्मॉल स्पेस आई लिव इन पुणे सो हियर द टेंपरेचर एंड द एटमॉस्फेयर इज मॉडरेट काइंड ऑफ इट्स नॉट टू मच हॉट नॉट टू मच कोल्ड बट स्टिल प्लांट्स दे डू गेट winter stress they do get summer stress so of course these are living things so we have to deal with these all these things look at my plant so did i do something wrong to her no haven't i watered her no then actually what happened to this plant so to sometimes uh if you see you do everything correctly but still your plant goes in a very bad state and you just give up on these plants because you think now it's not worth to uh, you know save this plant but it's not true actually we can save these plants i haven't neglected this plant i haven't done anything i mean she is sitting in the same place she is uh, from almost one and a half year and now this winter i didn't overwatered i didn't underwatered i had checked the soil and everything but still my plant has suffered and she is like this why i don't know <laughs> okay so uh every gardener in his or her plant journey they will uh go through these type of circumstances where your plant is not doing well you are doing everything but they are not doing well in that case what i do is i generally trim my plant from every green part so this is my plant if you will check the soil soil is watered it's moist but it's moist but still this plant has dried up and if you see these leaves these leaves are dehydrated so what it means it means that this plant the root system is not doing well that means it has suffered from the roots so in that case the best way to save your plant is to cut chop and if you will see for this tradis cantia there are many nodes so what i'll do is i'll keep it very simple i'm not using any prop box or anything because i think now uh, spring is there so i don't need too much of uh, to create a greenhouse effect they will do great uh, your cuttings if you are um, propagating any plant now february month your plant is going to do very great and uh, the chances are that you will get almost 80% chance that your plant is surviving and thriving so what i'll do i'll cut make cuttings of this plant from wherever i get a green tissue i'll cut and i'll put it in water i think water method is the best method if you are uh propagating or saving any plant uh in spring season sometimes for few plants i do use leca balls i do use moss but i think water is absolutely fine so you can go ahead and uh propagate your plant through water propagations so if you let me show this part see this every leaf has dried up but still i can see there is a new growth here 
that means if i'll put it in water it might grow this one i think i'll be removing it and i cannot find two good parts from this pot so what i am left with is these few cuttings <laughs> so friends this is the part of gardening uh, you know i can buy a fresh new plant from the market but i think um this is more uh, satisfying <laughs> so i like to save my plants as much as i can i have this jar i'll put some water in this one and i will also let you know in this episode what i use uh, to make my plants thrive in water propagations sometimes i think for this pot i had waited quite a long time actually i didn't got time to you know deal with uh, few of the pests in my garden and deal with other uh, other many things so she was not neglected i won't say neglected i was keeping an eye on her but uh, i was just thinking of making a video of how i save my plant and that is the reason i think she is tried so much because i don't wait that much time whenever i see my plants suffering i remove them from dirt and i'll put them in water or sphagnum moss or leka balls anything like that so that they can grow well they can grow their new roots and they can do well i would also show you my other propagations which i had done and uh, which are doing great and hopefully in rainy season i'll be reporting them in summer i don't report so i'll report them in rainy season and this circle continues uh why this plant has suffered is not because of something which was missing or there was pest or something else if you will see in nature also there uh, whenever there is a change in the season uh, the whole plant or tree or grass they will die and they will come back so that is the part of nature that they die and they come back there itself but when we are uh, keeping them in our home and when we are giving them limited space like this for example this one here they need help we can't expect that they are coming back on their own because it's a small pot and it is the whole leaf and the whole nodes though those were you know uh, those were uh, dropping down they were not getting any um, ground or anything to catch and uh, catch hold and put their roots on and get the nutrition so in this scenario that is the reason why in um, house plants or why when we keep um, plants in pot we have to 
keep an eye we have to take care of them and time to time we need to you know regenerate so i am putting them in water i these plants will be again uh, regenerated and i will hopefully i will get the whole pot full but again in the next year tradescantia they will they have tendency to dry out a little and then come back so again maybe i have to uh, put it in water <laughs> or something maybe it, it may be sometimes because almost it's one and a half year old and last winter she hasn't done this type of things um she was all okay i just gave it a trim and she was full again but this time i think she has suffered a lot so hopefully i get my tradescantia back and look at this node this is dry fully dried up chop chop and chop i will also share the result what has happened to my tradescantia i think they will make it hope for the best okay now i would like to show all my propagations which were not doing well and um, i had chopped them up and i had put them in water so here let's take a look one by one okay so first i will show you my aglonema lipstick plant which last last year i had propagated and i had potted her she was doing very nice but again due to mealybugs my plant suffered a lot so what i had done i had chopped these pieces <coughs> excuse me so i had chopped these pieces and i am propagating in water hopefully they do well i'll cut down all these yellow leaf okay this one looks fine there is no root friends so that is the reason the leaves are not looking very fresh but uh, once they develop roots uh, hopefully they will do well both the leaves are looking yellow so i'm not sure should i cut it i think i'll go ahead and cut this leaf one leaf i can leave it <laughs> so this one i am putting in water they haven't developed roots yet i had put them uh, almost it's almost 10 days but they haven't developed any roots this is again a aglonema look at the roots this is also my aglonema pink lady look at her leaf uh, this plant is doing great but i i just wanted to propagate so i am propagating one cutting of her and this is also my aglonema this aglonema i don't know what has happened she has enormous root system i had tried putting her in uh, soil but she doesn't like it she always likes in water only so i had to put her back in water because she was not doing well in soil she was having thrips she was having mealybugs so 
there were many diseases so i have to put her back in uh, water but hopefully i'll give her a transition slowly and steadily i will put her back in soil because in soil the nutrition level is very high and i don't i don't like to keep all my plants only in water this is also another cutting of the same aglonema plant so i can see some mealybugs i have to remove them so mealybugs are nothing they but the uh, small insect which are white and furry so those are mealybugs if you can see this cutting this cutting is doing great uh, even the root system is good but i don't know what has happened to the stem the stem is not looking great it it's uh, yellowing so maybe i'll give it a cut to this yellow part okay it was removed so actually this part is dead that's the reason when i tried to cut it it got removed look at the root and these ones are my variegated uh, bamboo plant uh which was actually these are not mine i had got it from somewhere that was not doing well so i i had pulled that plant and i am trying to save this plant now it was kept in my society and i think i should save this plant so i didn't ask anyone i had just taken uh the cuttings from that mother plant and i am trying to save her she has grown a lot of roots now so i think i may repot her in uh another pot maybe very soon but i really like her like this they look really beautiful maybe should i cut here again so that this gets more bushy i think i'll cut it from here so i have another cutting and i'll put it back in water <coughs> okay so this one is uh cutting from the pink lady aglonema and these are also doing good so hopefully they make it this season so that i can repot them this is the another one and this is the another one i'll be cutting this part because it doesn't look good i think that leaf was not doing great so this one i'll be putting it back here again and this is the another cutting now this is my propagations what i had made uh for plants which i am putting in water i give them a little bit of nutrition that is seaweed seaweed fertilizer so i don't i don't put too much but i just give one to two drops that's it in the water so that your plant can thrive i'll just put two drops i had put two drops in this one because most of the uh, these cuttings are old cuttings and they have got roots so i can give seaweed but for the fresh cuttings which i had put in this one this pot uh, i am not going to give any fertilizer right now uh, once they uh, develop the roots i'll give 
little bit of seaweed fertilizer, repot them in soil. Okay. Uh, I would also like to show my Tradiscantia nanook, which was not doing well in winter. Now, this one has roots, quite a lot of roots. And these are the new leaf friends. See how perfect. So she was almost dead. Now she is doing well in water. So probably I will be keeping her in water for some time. And then I will I'll report in rainy season. <laughs> so till rainy season they will be in water. Also, I wanted to show my anthuriums. So this is my uh, one of my plant, which I had made, which I had divided. Actually, I had one plant, which I had divided into three to four plants. But one plant I had given to my mom. This is the second plant. Now the third plant, that one suffered a lot. I don't know the reason, but this plant, it has suffered a lot. So what I did is I had put lecker balls here and some little bit of water and above I had put uh, sphagnum moss. So sphagnum moss I had already uh, uh, said in my previous uh, videos that sphagnum moss or lecker balls you can order from Amazon. Uh, if you don't want to order, it's it's all right. You can just propagate them in uh, water. But in water, what happens? Uh, there is a problem of mosquitoes. So generally, what I do, I just put lecker balls, either lecker balls or you can put coal pieces in the above so that. Uh, uh, there is no mosquitoes in the uh, water. If you can see, I wanted to show you, look at these baby plants. She is now pushing all baby plants here. Look at this one. Here also, there are some baby plants. There are some algae, but I think they are not harming my plants, so I don't, um, you know, I don't clear them up. I think they are having some natural balance. In nature also they exist, they do exist. So I don't think that we, it needs to be removed. It's okay. And uh, now I would also like to show my fern which has suffered in the season but now she is pushing up new leaves and new growth so this is the good time to clean your plants and give them a little bit of trimming Trim your plants so that they can grow in the warmer season. So I am removing all the dead leaves. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the right time, friends, to, you know, to groom your plants, to give them high nutrition. This is the time that you should give them high nutrition. Uh, I generally use, generally what I, I always use organic fertilizer. So please give them organic fertilizer like cow dung compost, 
or uh, you can also give um, vermi compost even kitchen compost to your plants which are in soil and uh, plants which are not in soil you can provide them with seaweed fertilizer they do really great with seaweed fertilizer but also sometimes uh, for one day or two days i give them i uh, dissolve a, any compost vermi compost or cow dung compost in water and i'll keep it for 2 to 3 days that dissolve uh, that solution that compost and water put some jaggery in that and after 2 to 3 days strain it and give it to your plants which are not in soil you can give it to the uh, uh, plants which are in soil that is all good but you can also use it as a liquid fertilizer for plants which are which you are keeping in water but don't keep it for long time uh, because since those are organic fertilizer that may develop other um, organisms which are not good for your plants so uh, soak your plant for 2 days in that solution and then again put some fresh water put them in fresh water so that they can uh, get the nutrition as well as uh, they don't tend to rot because of organic fertilizer think she is looking good now okay little bit of more trimming this is the best time for all the gardeners to propagate to groom their plants and to look forward for new growths i leave these little bit of uh, dried leaves i think that will go away in some time so look at my fern so all these leaves she has grown uh, in these two weeks because she has dried up totally in winter now she is coming back and she is looking just fantastic Okay friends that's it from my side hope you liked this video and i could provide little bit of information for uh, some of your some of the newbies uh, because when i was uh, i started my gardening journey i didn't knew that every plant can be propagated or every plant can be saved through water i used to think that only money plant or pothos can be saved through uh, water but it's not true any plant whatever even the snake plants if they are not doing well uh, cut them leave them for uh, half an hour so that whenever you cut just leave them for half an hour it's a good practice that you leave any cuttings for half an hour so that they get that callus that cutting that cut is dried up and then you can put them in water even if you don't put uh, don't leave them in uh, for half an hour it's okay for some plants for some plants it might get affected like snake plants for snake plants if you are making a cutting just keep them for half an hour and then put it in water for other plants like tradescantia or pothos you can just put the fresh cuttings in water and you can see you can see how the, uh, they are growing their roots and so this was it save your plants whatever uh, plants is in your garden which is not doing well uh, try to groom them uh, being a plant parent i would say that um, you know buying a new plant is very easy um, 
you don't have to give your time but satisfaction which comes by saving your plants you can't get it in market and that's it from my side thank you so much have a great day thank you